let's go ahead and dive into, of course, the biggest topic of the day, the Big Ten and the Pac-12 cancel, and they are done until January 2021, and, I, you know, we, we've heard talk of spring seasons, and we've heard talk of this and that, and, and you know, obviously, I would, ima- I would have to imagine for the Pac-12, the loan program that they set up that we discussed last week, that had to help, right? That had to help. Uh, Tommy Jarvis on Facebook said marble racing could become a big thing. Hey, at this point, any kind of competition could be something. So um, I, I would imagine that the, the loan stuff helped, and I would imagine that the Big Ten has also got something along those lines set up. But a lot of those Big Ten schools, I mean, they've got major endowments, right? They, they don't have to worry about this. Stanford, out in California, USC. I mean, they, these are schools that have billions of dollars, billions of dollars. So they don't have to worry with this. Um Because it's not a big part of their overall school budget. And I think that's what this all literally came down to is, you know, we we had to deal with uh, whether or not um, these schools, you know, wanted to take the risk. And what I need to have happen, Chris, is I need them to release the medical information that led them to this decision. And they have not done that as of yet. You know, we keep hearing about the heart issue. We keep hearing about all this different stuff. As I explained yesterday, that's nothing new. With any kind of a viral infection, that is a a possibility and sometimes a likelihood. It's with the flu. It's with uh, uh, herpes. It's with, I mean, any kind of viral infection. Uh, Hepatitis, like all of these different things can cause myocarditis. That happens. And it's not more prevalent with COVID than it is with anything else. And yet, it's just a, a thing. Um, Matt Miller jumps in and said the Pac-12 canceled basketball. They 100% aren't playing football in the spring. Well, they didn't cancel basketball. They canceled basketball until January. That, that's a whole different thing. The Brown Yeti jumps in. He says, what's up? What's up, Brown Yeti? Uh, anybody else that wants to jump into the chat, obviously, right down there in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen, you can do that. You can help drive the conversation. Uh, Matt Miller said they won't do it. Just tell us the truth that you don't want to get sued and move on. Chris, tell me this. Do you think that they are ever going to release the information because the ACC doctors and the SEC doctors are saying that, yes, we can move forward and we can mitigate these risks. And yet the Big Ten and the Pac-12 have come out and said, uh, no, this is too much risk. We can't We can't do this. Why is there no, such a divide here? Well, there, the, there's a – I don't know about the divide. I can't answer that question. That's that a, yeah, know. that's a different question. I'm sorry. But there's not different <laughs> medicals, okay? Yeah, We're, you know this thing is not magic, and it's not acting differently on the West Coast and the Midwest as it is everywhere else. Okay, and so that's no, that's what I'm so have confused different, about. Different. If they have different medical information about this than everyone else, then then they are obligated to share it, but because they might be holding like this is not a situation where they've got the cure to cancer and they're just not telling anybody. Okay. Yeah. yeah. They don't. They don't have anything different. They just don't. I, that's what I'm saying. So they don't like the about. optics, which I hate that argument. I think that's bad. Yeah. And and they think, well, we'll just send these kids home, and it'll all be okay. It's the, not worth playing football. It's not worth the the risk of something happening on our watch, and 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 so let's just not do it, and let's not think about the ramifications of not doing it. Let's just not do it. I'm with you. Um, let me let me talk for a second about Kevin Warren, Big Ten Commissioner. I, we can obviously he is going to be the lightning rod for a lot of this criticism, but this is not all on him. He is the the athletics commissioner. He is not the commissioner for the presidents and whatnot. They're the ones. Yeah, that's the issue. Yeah. Is he's catching all the blame on this, which is what leadership does. By the way, yeah, I still respect the guy. I don't think yeah. that he's a bad commissioner. I don't think he's a bad leader. I think he's wrong on this, and he should be fighting with the athletic directors and the the, the coaches wanting to play. Um, but he doesn't have a say in this. This yeah. this is the school presidents have voted and made this decision, and they trump the commissioner of athletics, and they trump the the athletic directors, and they trump all the coaches, and they trump all the uh, all the players. Uh, this is true. They are presidents over. Uh, schools that have, you know, five, six, seven billion dollars in endowments, they are more worried about the academic side as opposed to, you know, a two hundred million dollar athletic budget. That's it. Yes. You know, it now at some schools, the athletic budget carries basically everything. And and we talked the other day about how 
these school presidents do not understand how much of an advertising chip the the football team and the basketball team are. Like, they just don't get it, and that's that's okay. But that's not the only thing that they don't get. They don't understand exactly the role that sports play for these student-athletes. I mean, it, they just don't. And nothing about this is going to change that. All they look at with this is potential lawsuits. And you're not going to be able to change their mind in a day or two. Like, if they have to make a decision today, which I don't understand why you had to do that, then they're going to choose the other way. They're always they're incredibly risk-averse people. They just are. That's the way that they are built for whatever reason. And and so be it. Uh, Brown Yeti jumps in. He said, you know that the SEC or Clemson is going to win the national championship, so, so why would they even play? Eh, I mean, who knows? I think Ohio State had a pretty good shot this year, but uh, but that's neither here nor there. Now, what I'm really curious about is Kevin Warren's son plays at Mississippi State. His name is Powers yes, Warren. There's been nothing that I have seen about whether or not he has pulled out. Right, he's no, still going through he a said A couple of days ago, that last he Thursday. thinks that it's safe enough for his son to play. His son to play. Yeah, last the person Thursday, he, he said cares that. more about than anyone in the world. And yet, here we are. You know, um, so with the Big Ten and the Pac-12 canceling, Barrett Salee said this: If the SEC and the ACC play, the conferences that don't play are basically giving their member institutions a diet version of what SMU got. Players are going to bail. Nobody will sign and it will take years to recover. And I think he is If you on. thought the recruiting gap between the South and the Midwest was drastic before, uh, it, it's, it's about to get obscene. The problem with the SEC is now going to become, it, it's just they're going to they're gonna cannibalize themselves. Oh, 100%. If the SEC can play, you're talking about Alabama's already loaded with nothing but five stars. You're not four stars and three stars don't touch the field. All right, LSU's getting close to that. Georgia has been that for the last couple of years. Auburn, Tennessee, and Florida are about to take steps, leaps, and bounds. A&M are about to take just dry, giant leaps, giant leaps. Yeah, no, you're you're dead on. So, so with that, 